me a ghost. Without a reason. We are victims to a hatred that we do not understand. This evil will consume our world. And the count. Nair Automata is a modern classic. Most importantly for Switch owners, this is a top-notch port that has clearly been produced with respect and focus, often surpassing our expectations in both visuals and performance. Finding a comfortable seat and a pair of headphones makes the Switch version a wonderful way to experience the game, and it is an unforgettable journey. Nothing is as it seems, either in the story or gameplay, and it's one of the finest gaming achievements of the last decade. If you haven't played Nier Automata yet, now is a great time. Dead Cells, a game that showcases excellent roguelike design. This action-packed experience combines intense gameplay, stunning visuals, and an addictive loop of unlocks and rewards. With an abundance of content available, you can easily spend dozens, if not hundreds, of hours playing Dead Cells. Although some repetition may arise, the game manages to stay fresh and exciting throughout. If you're a fan of fast-paced action and a challenge, this game is an absolute must-buy for any Switch owner. Monster Hunter Rise This game has truly raised the bar for the franchise with its new mechanics, immersive monsters, and stunning setting. The introduction of the wire bug, switch skills, palamute, and carefully designed monsters bring a refreshing twist to the series. It's a game that both new and seasoned players can enjoy. The multiplayer experience is also top notch, with the new Rampage quests delivering an absolute blast. Personally, I believe that Monster Hunter Rise is one of the best entries in the franchise and a must have for Nintendo Switch owners. No more, Mr. Next up, we have Metroid Prime Remastered. This game has achieved the seemingly impossible by making a masterpiece even better. The visual improvements are extensive, making it one of the best looking games on the Switch. The new twin stick control setup works flawlessly, appealing to both veterans and newcomers. And if you prefer the nostalgic feel of the original GameCube controls, you have that option too. With an expanded gallery feature, Metroid Prime Remastered sets a new benchmark for revitalizing older games for a modern audience. It's Torchlight 2, a well-polished action RPG that offers hours of fun at an incredibly low price point. The gameplay is rewarding and loot-heavy, accompanied by an expressive art style. However, there are occasional technical hiccups and glitches. Nevertheless, we highly recommend Torchlight 2 for anyone interested in the ARPG genre. Though genre veterans might find it familiar, the unique qualities it presents will surely make your time with this game enjoyable. Sniper Elite series has always had its unique place in the FPS genre. Sniper Elite 4, in particular, stands out with its incredible sniping mechanics and slow-motion kill cam shots. However, previous entries were criticized for their clunky level design. But not anymore. Sniper Elite 4 completely changes the game with its large and diverse environments, encouraging exploration and experimentation. You'll have the freedom to choose your own path to success, whether it's a direct approach or a more strategic flank. This game takes the series to a new level of quality, making it a serious competitor among other successful shooters. And let's not forget the enjoyable online multiplayer modes. Sniper Elite 4 has truly earned its elite status.
Metro 2033 Redux offers an atmospheric and gritty first-person experience. As you navigate the subway tunnels and other underground areas, you'll face mutated creatures and the intimidating dark ones. What's great about Metro Redux is that you can choose between a leaner and tougher survival experience or a more action-packed shooter style. Both options provide their own challenges and keep you on your toes. The tense atmosphere and thrilling action make Metro Redux a needed addition to the Switch. Alien. Isolation introduces an incredibly intelligent and terrifying alien, driven by dynamic AI. This xenomorph stalks you relentlessly through Sevastopol Station, using its heightened senses to track every move you make. One wrong move could lead to a gruesome death. The alien's AI, described as psychopathic serendipity, ensures that it always strikes at the opportune moment. Creative Assembly has managed to maintain the suspense and fear throughout the game, with well-paced missions and gameplay variations. You'll even face a switch in primary threats, from the alien to androids before the climax. And we can't forget about Sevastopol itself, which becomes a character in its own right. Bioshock, the collection. This port combines three incredible games and all their DLC into one impressive package. The performance is stable, the narratives are engrossing, and the gameplay is a lot of fun. With so much content to explore, I highly recommend picking up this game if you're looking for a good single-player shooter on your Switch. However, it's important to note that this port isn't releasing in a vacuum. It's regularly on sale on other platforms for a lower price, with a more visually detailed experience and higher frame rate. The main draw of the Switch port is its portability, so be sure to consider how much you value that before making your purchase. It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Next on our list is Ori and the Blind Forest, Definitive Edition. This game is a flawless port and deserves all the praise it has received. From start to finish, it's a joy to play, offering challenging yet fair gameplay. The art style and musical score are mesmerizing, adding to the overall experience. It's a pleasant surprise to see this game on the Switch, and although the sequel might not make the same journey, the original outing is definitely an unmissable experience. Blasphemous 2 sticks with the exquisitely dark and gory style of its predecessor whilst building on the solid Metroidvania formula. The game kitchen could have served us up more of the same, and we'd have been perfectly happy. However, they've made meaningful upgrades here, with deeper and more satisfying combat and three upgradable weapon sets that combine perfectly with environmental puzzling that feels more cohesive and fluid overall. The Penitent One's return to see Vistodia is an absolute banger. SteamWorld Dig 2 is another confident effort from Image and Form, and a worthy successor to a game that's a treasured part of many eShop collections. Stylish and good-looking, it also has the series' trademark humor and, yes, a pretty good soundtrack. It refines and expands upon the qualities of the original and hits some delicious high points. Albeit some of the smartest segments and ideas appear only briefly, it sets the scene for more content and games, too, which is pleasing to see. For fans of SteamWorld Dig, we suspect the recommendation isn't needed as they'll buy this anyway. For those that skip the first game, however, Dig 2 is a must-have. Its charming aesthetic and cast set the scene for a tightly designed and clever exploration game.
The Lost Crown is a slick return to the roots of this franchise that serves up clever 2.5D action wrapped up in a delightful art style and satisfying story. There's a smart balance between old school levels of action and challenge, Moorish combat, and neat puzzles, all mixed with accessibility options and fine tuning that open things up to newcomers. We knew Ubisoft Montpellier was a pair of safe hands, and the team hasn't let us down, serving up the first must play of 2024. is Remnant from the Ashes, a fantastic third-person survival action shooter. This game combines the elements of a Souls-like with an intense shooting experience. Even though there were some compromises in terms of resolution and frame rate on the Nintendo Switch, the port is solid, and all the content from the base game, including two DLCs, is included at no extra cost. With plenty of content to enjoy, Remnant from the Ashes is definitely worth checking out. Next up, we have Doom Eternal, a game that sets the bar high for first-person shooters. This game is a masterpiece of beautiful destruction, offering a hurricane of violence and pure gaming adrenaline. It pays homage to the 90s while also showing modern FPS games how it's done. With its stunning visuals, intense gameplay, and an unforgettable experience, Doom Eternal is undoubtedly the best first-person shooter on the Nintendo Switch. Arceus. This game takes a fresh approach to the Pokemon series, with stunning visuals and new animations for both Pokemon and their moves. The immersive world and dynamic camera angles make you feel like you're truly part of the adventure. It's been compared to the Breath of the Wild of Pokemon games, and for good reason. This release brings a much-needed revitalization to the franchise, offering familiar characters and mechanics while pushing the boundaries of what we've seen before. Despite some technical hiccups, the joy of catching that rare Pokemon makes it all worth it. Kirby and the Forgotten Land now this game has some weak points here and there. There are a few repetitive mini-bosses and some levels that feel a bit recycled, but overall it's a great game with stunning visuals and smooth gameplay on both docked and handheld modes. The worlds you explore in Kirby are absolutely beautiful, like the overgrown ruins of natural plains and the crystal clear waters of Everbay Coast. Plus, the orchestral score adds an extra layer of charm to this adventure. And let's not forget about Kirby's expressions. His personality shines through in the side glances, grimaces, and caring smiles he gives to his Waddle Dee friends. Even the enemies, like the doggos, have their own moments of confusion that'll leave you feeling bad for them. It's simply delightful. Next up, we have Bayonetta 3. This game is all about its combat depth, offering a challenging experience for those who love to master every move. You can earn platinum medals and tackle chapter-specific challenges, adding to the replayability factor. Each playable character has their own skill tree, and there's a practice arena to hone your skills. The combos in Bayonetta 3 are truly dizzying, and even in the game's final moments, you'll still be unlocking new demons, weapons, and traversal options. It's clear that this game is meant to be replayed over and over again, with tougher difficulty modes and online leaderboards to keep the competition alive. But don't worry, if you're more of a casual action fan, there's a casual mode that makes the game more approachable. And if you're not a fan of the semi-nudity, you can turn that off too. Bayonetta 3 offers customization options to suit your playstyle, whether you want to make things easier or harder for yourself. It's a blast for action enthusiasts of all levels.
The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. This game is a sequel to the popular Breath of the Wild, and it does not disappoint. While the core gameplay remains the same, there are plenty of new elements that make it feel fresh. One of the noticeable improvements is the more prevalent story this time around. Each domain feels more involved in the overall narrative, and new and returning characters have their moment to shine. The side quests are also more interesting, with memorable characters, events, and rewards. Nintendo has listened to the feedback from the first game and made some changes. The world of Tears of the Kingdom's Hyrule, while familiar, feels more lived in and diverse. There are new areas to explore, new ruins to discover, and dangers lurking around every corner. And let me tell you, Terrytown is a standout location with rewarding quests. Now let's move on to Pikmin 4, a game that takes some risks and pays off. This installment feels bigger, busier, and noisier than ever before. But don't worry, all the additions fit seamlessly into the gameplay. One of the best things about Pikmin 4 is the return of dungeons. If you miss them in Pikmin 3, you're in for a treat. These underground caverns and lairs provide challenging puzzles and classic Pikmin action. Plus, there are some exciting boss battles to test your skills. The game also looks stunning, with beautiful locales both above and below ground. Whether you're playing on the dock or in handheld mode, the visuals are impressive. The attention to detail, lighting effects, and creative enemy designs make Pikmin 4 one of the best looking games on the Switch. Astral Chain. This game, developed by Platinum Games, is a visual masterpiece. It offers fantastic presentation and varied gameplay. The combat in Astral Chain is deep and rewarding, making it one of Platinum Games' most accomplished games. The game incorporates detective work and exhilarating battle sequences, which are not only inventive but also breathtakingly cool. Some players might find the complexity of the game intimidating, but fear not. Astral Chain offers a co-op play mode and an unchained mode, which automates many of the mechanics, allowing even newcomers to enjoy the game. Astral Chain is not just one of the standout hits on the Switch, but also one of the best video games of 2019. Not bad. Let's try a perfect dodge next. Get out of the way just before an enemy attack. If you pull it off, it'll feel like everything but you have... Next up, we have Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Now, it's important to note that this is not a Zelda game. However, if you approach it as a full-featured side dish, you'll have a great time. The game offers brilliant combat, filled with hack and slash action against Calamity Ganon's minions. What sets it apart is the incorporation of Breath of the Wild elements that work beautifully within the Warrior's template. The attention to detail in this game is impressive. While the performance is generally adequate, do be prepared for some slowdowns in two-player co-op when the action gets intense. Hyrule Warriors. Age of Calamity is a fantastic opportunity to revisit the beloved world and characters from Breath of the Wild. Hades, a game that seamlessly combines gritty combat, vibrant art style, and an engaging narrative. Developed by Supergiant Games, this game is an absolute gem. Hades offers satisfying combat mechanics and a roguelike experience that will keep you hooked for hours. Even if you're not usually a fan of the genre, we urge you to give this one a try. Trust me, it's worth sacrificing yourself to experience the heavenly vision of hell that Hades presents. Axios 
Elysium Verge on Switch is truly an outstanding port of an outstanding game, no more and no less. We would strongly urge those of you that missed this game on other platforms to pick it up here. This is the full Axiom Verge experience, and it's available in a format that supports both handheld and home play. For those of you who have played it before on other platforms, it's ultimately a question of just how much you love this game. This is the exact same, excellent game that you've played before, so whether or not you want to buy it again is a personal choice. Regardless of which side you fall on, Axiom Verge is a fantastic example of how to do a Metroidvania right. Though slightly more linear than The Blind Forest, Ori and the Will of the Wisps still scratches that Metroidvania itch beautifully. It's not just a great sequel. In many ways, it outdoes its predecessor. The addition of more customization options, a greater focus on combat, and a better developed story, all in a game that's running at 60 frames per second, allows the sequel to comprehensively outshine the original. This came at a cost of stability at launch. Even with these issues, though, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is a must-buy for anyone even the slightest bit interested, and we're confident that the stability problems will be addressed. This is a supremely enjoyable platform adventure which everyone should experience. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus Set in a world where the Nazis defeated the United States, this game takes you on an action-packed journey as William B.J. Blaskovich. The gameplay is intense, with over-the-top scenarios and plenty of enemies to eliminate. The game also makes genuine attempts at character development, adding depth to the overall experience. While the action can sometimes be a bit overwhelming, it's these efforts that elevate the game above the average shooter. Don't forget to upgrade your weapons and embrace your own sense of style as you navigate through this gnarly world. Now let's talk about Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. This game offers a slow, thoughtful experience with immersive audio design. The sound effects and voices create an intimate and unsettling atmosphere, drawing you into Senua's conflicted mind. The motion capture and attention to detail in her character model build a strong connection between the player and the protagonist. While there aren't explicit tutorials, the voices guide you through the game, leaving you to discover features gradually. One interesting gameplay mechanic is the Witch Time Slowdown mode activated by the ZR button during combat. With its captivating story and unique gameplay elements, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice is a must-play on the Nintendo Switch. Up next, we have Grid Autosport, a racing game that impresses with its graphical customization options. Unlike many other console games, Grid offers three visual optimization modes that can be switched on the fly. The Graphics Mode, which provides stunning visuals, runs at a stable 30 frames per second, and even has a downloadable high-resolution texture pack for enhanced car graphics. This attention to detail sets Grid apart and showcases the potential of the Nintendo Switch. Good job. This game is all about completing various tasks and getting graded at the end. The faster you complete the task without causing too much damage, the better your grade. It's a great game for perfectionists who enjoy replayability. You can play it alone or with a friend in co-op mode, although the levels aren't specifically designed for multiplayer. Working together can be fun, but also a bit chaotic. Overall, Good Job is a playful and imaginative game that emphasizes excellent gameplay. Next on our list is Pokemon Sword and Shield. These games bring some new ideas to the table, but they also have their flaws. 
The highs of seeing new Pokemon in a stadium full of cheering crowds are truly wonderful. However, the game falls short in other areas like monotonous dialogue and restrictive routes. Despite these issues, Pokemon Sword and Shield are a solid start to the HD generation of Pokemon games. There's definitely room for improvement in the next installment. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night Developed by Koji Igarashi, the creator of the famous Castlevania games, this game is a spiritual successor to the series. It's a fantastic Metroidvania that rivals classics like Symphony of the Night and Area of Sorrow. With hours of engaging gameplay, a complex combat system, and a gothic atmosphere, Bloodstained delivers on its promise to revive the Castlevania experience. It's a shame it's not an official entry in the series, but fans should definitely consider themselves lucky to have such a great game. Next up, we have Blasphemous. Developed by Spanish studio The Game Kitchen, this game combines elements of Souls-like and Metroidvania genres. Its beautifully crafted world, filled with well-designed enemies and gory visuals, creates a delightfully unhinged experience. The combat is satisfyingly meaty, and the boss battles are truly memorable and grotesque. Blasphemous will put your combat and platforming skills to the test, leaving you begging for more. Metroid Dread is a triumphant return for both Samus Aran and developer Mercury Steam. This is a super slick, hugely entertaining, and exquisitely designed entry in the Metroid franchise that plays better than anything we've seen from the series so far. With a bunch of fantastic new abilities, super tense and enjoyable stealth sections, plenty of great big boss fights, and a story that fans will definitely enjoy, we can't really see how this one could have been any better. Best Metroid game ever? This could be the one. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Originally released in 1993, this Game Boy classic has received a stunning remake on the Nintendo Switch. This game takes the perfected formula from A Link to the past and brings it to a portable console. With modern conveniences, a dungeon creator, amiibo support, and quality of life improvements, this remake breathes new life into the timeless story and classic Zelda gameplay. The attention to detail in every aspect of the game is truly remarkable, making it a must-play for a new generation of gamers. Next up, we have Hollow Knight, a game that proves you don't need a big budget or a large team to create a masterpiece. This indie gem features a hand-drawn art style and somber music that perfectly captures the atmosphere of exploring a fallen kingdom. Although it may not be the longest game, the variety of beautiful biomes and areas will make you feel like you're on a much longer adventure. With only three people working on its development, Hollow Knight is a testament to the power of passion and creativity in game design. Next up, we have Yoshi's Crafted World. This game is an absolute visual treat with beautifully rendered scenery and enemies. The gameplay revolves around targeting eggable objects in the foreground and background. These objects are highlighted in yellow when the crosshair touches them. Additionally, you can explore bushes and cutouts for hidden treasures like red coins. Egg shooting mechanics remain the same as previous games, but you can customize the button configuration and even speed up the egg throwing process. You also have the option to activate mellow mode, which grants Yoshi wings for unlimited fluttering and reduces damage taken. Another exciting feature is the drop-in, out two-player co-op mode. 
perfect for playing with kids or inexperienced gamers. One player can carry the other, making the pair more powerful. This game is a fantastic way to have fun and pass the time. Next up, we have Luigi's Mansion 3. This game is an absolute masterclass in charm and polish. The animations are so good that they wouldn't look out of place in an animated feature film. Luigi's facial expressions display a range of emotions, adding depth to his character. The visuals are simply stunning, with lighting, textures, and models that are among the best on the Switch. But it's not just the visuals that impress, the gameplay is equally as engaging. From exploring haunted floors to solving puzzles, Luigi's Mansion 3 keeps you hooked from start to finish. This game truly showcases the power of the Switch and will make you question the importance of gameplay in a game. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. With a roster of 74 characters, including all the fighters from previous games, this is the ultimate Smash experience. Each character feels unique and ambitious, without straying too far from the classic formula. The game not only looks gorgeous, but runs smoothly without any hitches. The generous unlocking system keeps the excitement alive as you discover new fighters. And let's not forget about the music, the arrangements of classic tunes from video game history are absolutely fantastic. Moving Blade Chronicles 3. This game offers an emotional and captivating narrative that kept us engaged for over 100 hours of gameplay. Without giving away too much, there were genuinely tear-inducing moments that pulled at our heartstrings, alongside humorous and heartwarming elements. The game also explores deep existential questions and presents complex character motivations. The writing is consistently excellent and delivers these situations with finesse. Overall, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 offers a compelling campaign that will enthrall players from beginning to end. Are we the last ones here? Sorry I made you wait. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. Now this game is a lot of fun, but it does have its flaws. One issue that many players have complained about is the camera. It can be very unpredictable and often lets the action spill out of frame. This can be frustrating, especially when playing in co-op or with the AI. However, the developers have attempted to address this issue by allowing players to manually select a more zoomed in perspective. Despite this flaw, the game offers an exciting arcade brawling experience with intense battles against numerous enemies. These ones think they are tough. How amusing. Next up, we have Arms. This game is all about intense fighting battles, and it offers different modes to enjoy. The Grand Prix mode is where you'll be spending a lot of your time initially. Here, you choose one of the 10 fighters and aim to reach the grand final. The difficulty levels range from easy to challenging, and as you progress, you unlock the ability to participate in ranked online matches. The game also offers a versus mode for local multiplayer, where up to four fighters can compete in various battles. Overall, ARMS is a great game for those who enjoy fast-paced fighting games. Next up is Diablo 3 Eternal Collection, a classic RPG with a lovely port on the Switch. The game perfectly captures the essence of a loot-a-thon, although its high level of repetition might not appeal to everyone. The visuals are clear and functional, and the performance is top-notch. Playing with friends, either online or through couch co-op, elevates the experience as you battle demons and collect loot together. If you're looking for an explosive, loot-driven grind-a-thon, Diablo 3 is the game for you. Now let's talk about Bastion, an unforgettable and enjoyable action RPG. 
This game boasts a charismatic narrator, beautiful visuals, and intense action gameplay. While the isometric view occasionally gets in the way, the overall experience is well worth it. With heavy character customization, Bastion becomes a fairy tale adventure that you'll want to revisit again and again. If you haven't played Bastion elsewhere, we highly recommend giving it a try. It may not bring anything new to the table on the Switch, but it's a modern classic that shouldn't be missed. Star Ocean The second story R. This revival of a PlayStation classic merges modern game design and artistic elements with old-school sensibilities. The result is a visually stunning and player-driven story with a thrilling combat system and a remixed soundtrack. If you're an RPG fan, we can't recommend this game enough. It's a must-play and comfortably the best entry in the Star Ocean series. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, a genuine masterpiece and the highlight of Monolith Soft's superb series. This emotionally charged and edgy epic offers a sprawling and engaging narrative with unforgettable characters. The combat system is among the best in the genre. We've spent over 100 hours immersed in this game, and it has truly delivered on its promise of adventure, emotion, and action. If you're looking for the ultimate RPG experience on the Switch, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is the game to seize the future with. Ni no Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom is an excellent action RPG that's arrived on Switch in a fantastic feature-packed port. Evan and Roland's antics across this game's sprawling world are stuffed full of great characters, exciting combat and adventuring, and a kingdom-building mechanic that's a delight to get to grips with. It looks and sounds every bit as good as its predecessor, and although the story might be a little more hit and miss here, we were completely hooked into this one from beginning to end. This is a sumptuously crafted adventure you won't regret diving into. Subnautica takes us on an incredible journey into a beautifully realized underwater world. With its diverse range of biomes and breathtaking visuals, it's truly a sight to behold. However, don't let its beauty fool you, as it can also be utterly terrifying. The game taps into our primal fears of the ocean, drowning, and getting lost in treacherous underwater caverns. But fear not, as it's also one of the most chill games we've ever played. We can spend hours exploring, mining for materials, and uncovering secrets and treasures. When we heard it was coming to the Switch, we were skeptical about how well it would translate, but it turns out it's a super solid port that delivers one of the best survival experiences on any platform. Is Super Mario Odyssey. This game truly shines when played on the big screen. Nintendo has made some notable enhancements when playing in docked mode, improving the overall visual experience. While the game still looks impressive in handheld mode, there are more noticeable artifacts and edges. Playing on a TV really enhances these areas and gives a genuine console gaming feel. And let's not forget about the music. The soundtrack is excellent, with some tracks even available for download. Overall, Super Mario Odyssey delivers smooth and visually stunning gameplay that is truly a joy to experience. Next up, we have Splatoon 3, 
This game is a refined version of its predecessors, offering a near-perfect online shooter experience. It's incredibly fun, and addresses many of the concerns from the Splatoon community. The developers have gone above and beyond to create an engaging and addictive gameplay. The new hub world, Splatsville, feels vibrant and alive, and the addition of the in-game card game, Table Turf Battle, adds even more value to the overall package. Splatoon 3 may not introduce any groundbreaking ideas, but it is undoubtedly the pinnacle of the series and a must-play for shooter enthusiasts on the Switch. Animal Crossing – New Horizons This game takes everything we loved about Animal Crossing and elevates it to new heights. With more activities, customization options, and an expansive island to explore, New Horizons offers endless hours of enjoyment. The characters feel more alive than ever before, with the island paradise truly feeling like your own. From the beautifully written dialogues to the intricate details such as moving leaves and realistic footprints, the attention to detail is unparalleled. Animal Crossing is a masterpiece that has exceeded all expectations. Coming in with little fanfare, Megaton Musashi W Wired proves to be a strong return to form for level 5. This addictive mech battling action game offers a slept on experience of the year. With its heartfelt story, entertaining combat missions, and in depth character progression, it's hard to put down. Despite lacking a robust online component, if you enjoy action RPGs, mech games, or the level 5 charm found in their other games, you shouldn't miss out on this one. If you're not a fan of action RPGs but enjoy dungeon crawling gameplay, then Why is Origin might be the perfect choice for you. The story takes a back seat, but the gameplay is engaging and addictive. The game keeps a brisk pace and ensures that no puzzle, battle, or room overstays its welcome. While the visuals may not be top notch, the length might be shorter than hardcore RPG fans prefer, and there's some grinding involved it still remains a solid choice for fans of this genre. Despite the age of the game, Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Definitive Edition is the right choice for Nintendo Switch owners. It offers stable performance and a massive amount of content. Even though the frame rate may suffer in co-op mode, this robust port exceeds the previous versions on PS3 and Xbox 360. If you're a fan of the Dynasty Warriors series, this is the version to get. Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, a fantastic mashup of Musu Mayhem, strategy, and relationship building aspects. This game improves upon its predecessor with a more engaging story that encourages multiple replays. With solid performance on the Switch and an action packed campaign that can last up to 30 hours in a single playthrough, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes is one of the best games Omega Force has delivered so far. When it comes to real-time combat in RPGs, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen takes the crown. It's no wonder this game has gained a loyal following over the years. 
While Capcom may not have enhanced its visuals or gameplay mechanics, Dragon's Dogma still manages to offer a thrilling and engaging role-playing experience. Its blend of exhilarating real-time action and stat-based adventuring keeps players hooked from start to finish. Next up, we have CrossCode, a game that seamlessly combines 90s-era JRPGs, classic Zelda gameplay, and elements from MMOs. If you're a fan of any of these genres, then I'm confident you'll thoroughly enjoy CrossCode. Radical Fish has skillfully crafted an RPG experience with engaging combat, intricate mechanics, and immersive open-world exploration. Although it may not be without its minor flaws, CrossCode is a well-crafted and enjoyable release that you won't want to miss out on. Battleship Brigade, a truly unique and refreshing RPG experience. It's a game that defies categorization, blending fast-paced action, RPG-style gear collecting, and puzzle elements into a cooking-themed adventure. From its hand-drawn graphics to its compelling story and brilliant voice acting, Battle Chef Brigade offers a fresh and original gaming experience. Each component of the gameplay is perfectly executed, creating a truly memorable and must-play experience for all Switch owners. Neo The World Ends With You This game excels in every category we were worried it could fail in. With its energetic soundtrack that builds upon the original, a deep and rewarding combat system that successfully transitions to 3D, a captivating cast of characters, and a world that keeps you coming back even after completing the 40-plus hour campaign. After waiting for 13 years for a sequel to the first Reapers game, we're thrilled to see the developers maintaining their talent and delivering a remarkable experience. Next on our list is Trials of Mana a successful revival of a classic. The game smartly combines new design and content while preserving the spirit of the original. It features multi-threaded storylines, an enjoyable combat system, and flexible character progression, making it a fantastic experience from start to finish. Although occasional performance issues may hinder the experience, we highly recommend Trials of Mana to both RPG fans and newcomers. It sets a great example for future games in the Mana series. The Elder Scrolls Fi Skyrim. This game is a must play for both longtime fans of the franchise and newcomers alike. Despite showing its age, Skyrim still manages to deliver a sense of vastness and player progression that very few games have achieved. From its expansive world to its captivating northern lights, Skyrim is an adventure that you won't want to miss. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Complete Edition. This game is an absolute masterpiece, and the fact that you can now take this epic adventure on the go is truly remarkable. While the performance on the Switch may not be perfect, the overall experience is still incredible. The Witcher 3 set the standard for modern RPGs when it was released in 2015, 
and this port is a reminder that it has yet to be surpassed. If you haven't played this game before, I highly recommend giving it a try. Next on our list is Darksiders 2 Death and Night of Edition. This game is a fantastic sequel that builds upon the strengths of its predecessor. The combat is fluid and satisfying, and the story is engaging. I particularly enjoyed playing as Death, who is more acrobatic and has unique abilities that add to the overall gameplay experience. If you're looking for a game with great combat and an intriguing storyline, Darksiders 2 Death and Night of Edition is a must try. Moving on, we have Dragon Quest Builders 2. This game improves upon the flaws of its predecessor and provides a more robust and enjoyable adventure. The charming characters, well-tuned gameplay loop, and high replayability make this game a gem. Despite some performance issues, I highly recommend picking up Dragon Quest Builders 2 if you're a fan of creative gameplay and immersive worlds. Now let's talk about Persona 5 Strikers. This spin-off game successfully combines a compelling story with satisfying hack and slash action. While there are a few minor issues such as necessary grinding and a sometimes troublesome camera, overall, Persona 5 Strikers is a thoroughly entertaining action RPG. If you're a fan of the Persona series or looking for a stylish and engaging game, give Persona 5 Strikers a shot. Fast RMX. This game features six new courses that are absolutely breathtaking. One particular highlight is Tepaneka Val, which takes place during a thunderstorm and at night. The graphics are so impressive that words can't do them justice. Trust me, watching footage online won't satisfy your HD raindrop cravings. Additionally, Fast RMX runs at 1080p and 60 frames per second at all times, which is quite impressive. While we did notice some minor slowdowns in certain instances, they were so rare that most players won't even notice them. Even in multiplayer mode, the game maintains a smooth 60 frames per second experience. Moving on, we have Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This game blends the worlds of Mario and Rabbids in a unique and entertaining way. The music in this game adds an extra layer of energy and silliness to the gameplay. Plus, the attention to detail, such as animated plant life synchronized with the music, showcases the passion behind the project. While the game performs well overall, there are some occasional frame dips and visual blemishes. We also experienced a few instances of freezing and even a crash, although these were rare occurrences. This is Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown Deluxe Edition. This game is the pinnacle of the Ace Combat series, and despite being over five years old, the Switch version holds up really well. Whether you're a longtime fan or a military aviation enthusiast, you'll be blown away by the fan service in this game. From detailed graphics to a wide range of airplanes, liveries, call signs, and emblems referencing previous entries in the series, this game truly delivers. This is a must-play for both fans of the franchise and newcomers alike. Moving on, let's talk about Quake 2. This game is considered by many to be the best Quake game in terms of its single-player offering. Originally not intended as a sequel to Quake, it ended up becoming a separate narrative entity. Unlike its predecessor, Quake 2 takes you into a sci-fi world with biomechanical mutants and bleak environments. The core gameplay remains similar, 
but there are significant improvements. You'll have access to new weapons like the BFG, Railgun, and Chain Gun, and the enemy AI has been enhanced, making them more challenging and strategic in their approach. The graphics and death animations add to the overall immersive experience. Thirteen Sentinels, Aegis Rim. This game offers a compelling story and enjoyable real-time strategy segments. However, what really sets this game apart is its spectacular presentation. The hand-drawn backgrounds are incredibly detailed, almost resembling pieces of concept art. It creates a seamless transition from the artist's pens to the live game. The RTS segments have a rougher, intentionally stylized aesthetic, giving you the feeling of viewing a battle map through the lens of a sentinel. The neon blue lines outlining the streets and the voxel designs of enemies add to the unique visual style. The particle effects when you unleash bombs or gunfire are impressive, immersing you in the intensity of the combat. If you're looking for a game with a captivating story and stunning visuals, 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim is worth checking out. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Now let's talk about a game that surprised us with its smooth transition to the Switch, No Man's Sky. We had our doubts about how well this intergalactic survival sandbox would run on Nintendo's console, but Hello Games pulled it off. The frame rate is solid, and the vibrant, chunky graphics still look fantastic. Plus, with all previous updates and content included, except for multiplayer, this is a no-brainer for survival fans. It's easily one of the most impressive ports we've seen on the Switch so far. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Everybody in the world die Please Lord give me